All right, this video is going to be about how to create an outro. And then we're going to either do uh, click on annotations in this video, or I'll have a link for part two so it's not too long. But this video is going to be about the outro. So here's one of my videos. Let me show you what an outro is. Um, a lot of people think of it you know, as just these little boxes that you click on for other people's next videos or last week videos. Let me show you exactly what it is. And uh, you guys have a great day. So here is my outro. So I got a video playing in the background that I've made. I got the subscribe button right here. And I got a video here and a video here. And these are actually interactive. They'll change screens. A video is actually playing in these boxes. This stays the same, obviously, you know, solid yellow subscribe button, but a video plays in the background. So let me just show you just a few more seconds of it real quick. Now, as you can see, this one's moving. This one is one of my videos that's the very beginning, so that's why that's not moving, but this video is interactive. This one will change, but I'm not going to go through the whole thing. So um, these are called outros. And uh, these are great. These actually lead your viewers to click on these videos, to stay within your channel, to subscribe. Um, kind of a call to action is what people in the SEO uh, world call it. So this is a fantastic way to gain uh, more views, um, subscribes. Um, just a cool, cool little feature. And so most of the time, uh, um, you can do this in a, uh, a lot of different editing programs. And so I have Vegas Pro. Um, I also have After Effects. Um, I heard uh, in uh, Movie Maker, and you can do it there as well. Um, but let's get into um, Vegas Pro. I have Vegas Pro 10, but obviously work on 9, 10, or 11. Um, but let me show you the basic features, and it's going to be very similar in After Effects, etc. Just different buttons. But this is what we're going to do, and we'll get back to the click on annotations part. Um, in part two of the video or the same video, but I'm going to again try not make not make it too that too long of a video here. So let's get on Vegas Pro 10. And what we got here is we have some media already uploaded, but I'm going to show you how to do that. Um, so this video is going to be for people that already know how to do it, or for the bottom of the line, like how do you even start? So here we go. We got Vegas Pro 10. Uh, we have one of my videos from my other channels already up there. And what we do is we have different layers or levels, I guess you can call it. So we have, right now, as you can see right here, we have seven levels. So we have the main video with the audio underneath it. And for that outro you just saw, then we have the soundtrack at the very end, that kind of uh, electronic little beat. And then for the background, right here, we have uh, that little video that was playing in the background. Um, and then we had, uh, actually, this is a different video, but anyway, that's the background one. And then for this video, I have a little surfing video, a little sunset video here. But let me show you the basics of how to do this, right? So um, what we're going to do is let me show you a preview of this real quick. So here we go. So again, you see here, you see the sunset here, the very, uh, that's the second layer. And then the subscribe layer is the very top one. So what we do here is we have the main video down here. Soundtrack can be either, you know, soundtrack doesn't matter. That can be either above it or below it, but that's at the very end of the uh, the main video here. And then whatever you want for this portion of the background, picture, video, you want right above either the sound there or this video. You want that as the layer right above the main video. The reason why is because you're going to stack this layer and this layer on top of it and then you're going to pan crop, event pan crop these smaller to be able to get these right here. So let me show you exactly. Uh, let me import some media. We'll switch some stuff around and we'll get into it a little bit here. So without making this video too long. So here's a funny video of um, my, uh, my wife and I at the gym here making a funny video. So we're going to drag that down to the timeline here, you see. Okay, and we're going to get that. Um, leveled up right next to, see how the blue line just did that? So now we're even with the surf video. Now you see a car right here. And you're kind of going like, what in the world is there a car doing there? So let's get rid of that audio track. And we're going to get delete. 
and then we're going to extend this out and so it matches up with these so everything's nice and even and then this one over here we obviously don't want that anymore anymore so we're going to get rid of that and we're going to push delete on that and that gets rid of it um, okay now what we're going to do here is we got this here so that here's our car video that's the main video and then the music track starts but now all of a sudden my wife's the main focus and what happened to the video in the back what happened to the surf video so now we're going to go to this little button here vent pan crop we're going to hit that this pops up right here what I like to do is I like to extend this out a little bit so we're going to push this down you're going to come up here to this little square right here left click that and drag that to get bigger now see the preview box this gets smaller and smaller and smaller and smaller and smaller. We'll keep dragging it down there. That looks good. Now we're going to position it. Left click again. Whoops, I'm sorry. Without putting those circles. Left click again. And we're going to move it up this direction. And we're going to get it right where it was. But obviously now we need to get it a little bigger. So go back down to this square. Left click and come back up to size it now we're gonna have to I'm kind of a perfectionist so we're gonna left click the center and it's gonna get tilted up just like that that looks good so now we're even on this side it's about the same size as this one here good spacing underneath We've got our subscribe button there and our subscribe button is the same thing so let's get this back up so our subscribe button is the same thing we're gonna import all media so over here, Project Media, you're going to click on Project Media, and again, there's the background right there. So how to import Project Media, you're going to hit File, go down to Import, Media right there, and now you can choose all sorts of stuff. Any of your, in my pictures, um, music, there's another song, you can replace your music, um, videos. Here's your videos. So let me show you. Here's one at Hurricane Harbor. So there's our Hurricane Harbor that I just imported there. So let's uh, put um, another layer. Why not? So we're going to drag that down and we're going to put that. Let's go right on top of the subscribe button right there. Okay. Again, right click that. Let's get rid of that audio because you don't want audio on top of audio shrink that to get it at the very edge of that but now of course we're covered up completely so again left click a bit crop we're gonna go down sorry if I'm going too fast I just don't want this video to be 20 minutes long so let's shrink that a lot there we go and let's get that um, up in uh, let's try this corner up here Okay, so we're going to go up in this corner right here. Obviously, it's not going to stay there because that's really ugly, but you get the picture. So you can literally add layer on top of layer, layer, layer. You can put you know as many videos as you want shrinked in here. Now let's play a preview. So we got the track going. And obviously, after you render it, it goes a lot smoother. Um, but see these videos are interactive. There's actually people surfing in this one. My wife just nailed me right here. A subscribe button still right here. My uh, production company is running in the background with my Hurricane Harbor uh, Venom Drop uh, video right here as well. And the reason I have these already in here um, to kind of save time and they're already pre-recorded um, or as in they're about 20 seconds long. I like my outros to be about 20 seconds. Let people enjoy the music, let them click on it. So again, now we have eight layers. Again, main video right here, all my uh, editing from uh, the Nissan dealership into my soundtrack at the very end, that kind of that beat. Into this track right here is the very background. Surfing video, I pan cropped it, I shrunk it, put it on the left. This one, of course, we saw that firsthand. And then our subscribe button is right here. And then you saw me do this one as well. So hopefully that hopes, uh, hopes, hopefully that helps. And uh, let's see how long this video is. I might include um, the click on annotations or we'll make that part two with a clickable link or an outro. Click on the video at the very end. All right, guys, hope you enjoyed the video. Hope this helps. 
Um, I can make a more real detail longer video if you guys want. Uh, let me know and I'll walk you through the steps. But this is kind of for beginners through intermediate through if you just need a refresher course. Um, all right, guys. God bless. You guys have a good night.